Curiosity killed the cat. Everyone knows Curiosity killed the cat. But why was the cat so curious in the first place? By the by what is Curiosity? Philosopher Thomas Hobbes called it, the lust of the mind. Former U.S. First Lady, Eleanor Roosevelt said it was, the most useful gift. But ask a group of scientists to define curiosity. You'll get a rousing debate, and a lot of unanswered questions about its biology. Recently a pair of neuroscientists from the University of Rochester reviewed the evolution, mechanism, and function of curiosity. It's published in the 4th November 2015 issue of the journal Neuron. The authors were Celeste Kidd and Benjamin Y. Hayden from the Department of Brain and Cognitive Sciences and Center for Visual Science, University of Rochester, United States. Curiosity is a basic element of our cognition. It is a motivator for learning, influential in decision-making, and crucial for healthy development. Curiosity is a long-standing problem that is fascinating but has been difficult to approach scientifically. Curiosity has been a subject of study since the early 19th century. The authors use a working definition of curiosity as a drive state for information. This can be observed not only in infants and children but creatures as simple as worms. Curiosity is beneficial, it facilitates learning. A person's success increases along with the degree of his curiosity. But anything above a limit is harmful. Curiosity is also not an exception. We spent time watching a TV show because we were curious to know what happened. Then we spend less time working on our jobs. So there is definitely a balance, and too much curiosity can be harmful. There is a connection between curiosity in it and other attentional disorders. The curiosity is less in such people, so they are not interested in the events happening around them. Once curiosity is less, the learning capability also decline. The link between curiosity and learning. The future will bring further research into how curiosity can be controlled, how curiosity is affected by disease, and how it differs between childhood and adulthood. Thank you.